Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. And tonight we begin the news at 6 with the weather as a sunny Sunday is winding down. You're looking live at our Windsor Sky Cam pointed right there at the riverfront. The forewarned weather team tracking some changes for your work week. A beautiful look at downtown. Forewarned meteorologist Brian Sherman joins us now with a look at what we can expect. Hey, Brian. Hey there, Pamela and Sandra. Good Sunday evening, everyone. A very nice day across the neighborhood today. Temperatures a little warmer this afternoon with sunshine giving way to mainly clear skies here at 6 o'clock tonight. Tower cam from downtown looking across the river over into Windsor. We've kept a little bit of high cloud cover around this afternoon and into this evening. Most everyone sitting into the upper 20s to lower 30s. 30 right now here in Detroit. 29 working over into Ann Arbor. The freezing mark 32 right now working into Howe and 33 checking in with us tonight as you're working over into Adrian. We've had that mid to high level cloud cover working off to the east the entire day today, but that hasn't stopped the amount of sunshine we've seen with temperatures warming into the upper 30s this afternoon. We're going to increase that cloud cover overnight tonight. Temperatures dropping into the upper 20s by the time we get to 10 o'clock tonight and after the dry weekend, we've got chance I could say chances for rain if I could get it out right into the forecast for at least the first few days working into next week. We'll talk more about that and some wintry weather that's on the way. Your complete full warm forecast coming up in just a few minutes. With that wintry weather on the way is now the time to download that forewarn weather app. Exact track 40 radar future track and weather alerts in the palm of your hands. You can find it on your favorite app store. Just search WDIV. Tomorrow, the nation honors Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. President Biden marking the holiday today by making a historic visit to the Atlanta Church of the nation's most revered civil rights leader. Tina Kim has the story. He followed the path of Moses. Making history to mark history, Joe Biden is now the first sitting president to speak at a Sunday service at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, where Martin Luther King Jr. was co-pastor. The president told the congregation the past actions of the civil rights icon are a guide to the nation's future. Are we the people who are going to choose love over hate? I believe Dr. King's life and legacy show us the way we should pay attention. I really do. He had every reason to believe, as others of the generation did, that history had already been written, that the division would be America's destiny. But he rejected that outcome. The president was invited to the Georgia church by its current senior pastor, Reverend Raphael Warnock, who just recently won re-election to the U.S. Senate. Also attending, a peer of the late Dr. King, former ambassador and mayor of Atlanta, Andrew Young. Andy and I took on apartheid in South Africa and a whole lot else. The president's speech is among the many ways the nation is remembering King. In Boston, the Embrace, a sculpture was unveiled, honoring King and his late wife, Coretta Scott King. In Washington, fifth graders reread the powerful words of King's I Have a Dream speech, an annual event. Sunday, America's most revered civil rights activist would have turned 94. I'm Tina Kim reporting. Here at home, six Detroiters will be honored for their dedication to Martin Luther King's dream. The left, Let Freedom Ring rally will take place tomorrow afternoon at the Fox Theater. In 1963, Dr. King famously marched along Woodward Avenue right past the Fox. Reverend Jesse Jackson is scheduled to attend along with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, Mayor Mike Duggan, Rashida Tlaib, and Debbie Dingell. There are more events scheduled tomorrow across Metro Detroit to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We've put a list on our website. Click on Detroit.com. It's right there on the home page. Happening this week, Detroit police are set to provide an update into the investigation in, of a Detroit mother killed outside her neighborhood liquor store. Meantime, family and friends of Tracy Golden and other victims of gun violence all coming together tonight to call for justice. Victor Williams joins us now live with more. Victor? Yeah, Sandra and Pamela, one of the themes of this event was let freedom ring and not guns, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Everyone that was there at this event had some type of story, including loved ones of a 53-year-old woman whose life was taken way too soon. We'll keep going door to door, and eventually the door will be cracked open. We have many unsolved cases. That's why we're here at the Martin Luther King homes, 
on Martin Luther King's actual birthday. It's a call to stop the violence on the birthday of perhaps one of the most recognized civil rights leaders of all time. Put those guns down. This is senseless. We should love one another. This time around, families and friends are hoping the legacy of one can help solve and stop the death of others. Many killed in the same apartment complex bearing Dr. King's name, like Linda Jones's grandson, Marquis Smith. There's too many murders happening not only here, but in the community. And something has to be done. One of the most recent victims killed elsewhere, however, is 53-year-old Tracy Golden, who was gunned down of a store on Outer Drive in Grand River. Her friend Laura Davis helped organize the event in her honor. She was beautiful, loving, caring, and now we don't have her here, and that's going to be tough. The hope from everyone here is that at least one person can be touched to speak up if they know something and not let disputes escalate into violence. Today is MLK birthday, and... I have a dream that this will come to an end. If we all can just get together often and do this, we can all come together and we can stop this. We can slow this madness down. And we know a lot of people are going to be patiently waiting that update on this Tracy Golden case. We're hearing that sometime in the next two days or so that Chief White is supposed to be having some type of press conference where the updates are discussed. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, we'll be following it. Victor, thank you. Detroit police need your help identifying three men in connection with a stolen car and a stolen puppy. It happened around 2.30 in the morning on January 4th at a gas station on West Chicago and Greenfield Roads. Police say there was a pit bull puppy inside the stolen car, not even a year old yet. Anyone who recognizes the suspects are asked to make contact with Crime Stoppers or the Detroit Police Department. Starting today, the price to cross the border into Canada from Detroit is going up. It'll now be $6.50 for non-commercial vehicles, as well as commercial taxis, vans, and limousines. If you use the Nexpress electronic toll system, or if you buy round trips using the DWT app, you will see a 35 cent increase. The reason given for the rate hike is staff wage increases and also additional maintenance and operation costs. Still to come here at 6, they can become a really big problem if you get them in your home. Uh, we're talking about bed bugs, new at 6, where Detroit ranks on the list of cities with a pest problem and what you can do to prevent them.